Pinpoint Weather on NBC5 News is brought to you by the Cow Creek Umpqua Tribe. Hey, welcome back into NBC5. We've got changing conditions and it's going to be hour by hour with these changing conditions through the rest of today. Cold front is nearing the area. We have the good coverage of showers already building across the area. We already have some heavier snow building up into the Cascades and that's going to continue for today as well. It is warmer at the moment, 13 degrees warmer than we saw yesterday morning at this hour sitting at 49, but don't expect much warmth here for today or the next several days. Warmest day likely Wednesday at 54 degrees compared to the 60s we had over this weekend. Uh, we will be cooling off as another storm system to bring rain, snow and wind as well as the colder temperatures uh, back into the forecast into the end of this week. Uh, we have the cold front that's moving through the area right now. We still have some onshore flow expected with the shower coverage filling in behind this cold front. Most of that widespread precipitation is going to be with this first round of precipitation, and then we're going to be getting into the shower coverage after this uh, cold front uh, kind of moving across Douglas County, stretching all the way down across northern Curry County right now, and that precipitation is ahead of it, pushing from from north to south and snow levels this morning behind that front is going to be dropping off from around four to five thousand feet all the way down to around twenty five hundred feet this afternoon and then tonight it gets even lower down to around a thousand feet of course Medford sitting at thirteen hundred but once we get into the evening and nighttime hours it's going to be more of some lighter showers in the area compared to the widespread precipitation we have out there right now uh, we will be warming up with those temperatures into Wednesday and our snow levels were turning to around 5,000 feet and then that next system moves in and it drops yet again heading into the later half of this week, even staying quite low all the way into this weekend. So we do have the lower elevation snow returning into the forecast for today, though. Again, pinpoint forecast doing a really good job where we're seeing that widespread precipitation this morning and you see by the afternoon hours, it kind of starts to break out. We start to see more of that shower coverage, snow building, continuing to build up into our higher terrain. And that's where the heavier amounts are, are expected up into the Cascades, even continuing through Tuesday morning. You see the lighter showers and snow showers for them, lighter showers for the coastline. Tomorrow's going to be a little bit quieter of a day. Even Wednesday is going to be quieter of a day with those warmer temperatures. And then once we get into the later half of the week, that next system builds in. That brings in not only a little bit higher amounts of rainfall, but also snow into the later half of this week. Uh, we do have that winter storm warning again uh, for for Jackson County and for our higher elevations, our higher elevations like the Cascade Passes expected to get likely over a foot of snow around six to 10 inches for Lake of the Woods could get up to a foot to almost two feet up for Crater Lake. Uh, if we see any snow, especially here in Medford, let's say here tonight into uh, early in the morning, uh, it's going to be quickly melting. We have a lot of warmth over the weekend. Anything that touches the ground, uh, that warm ground should say is going to be melting off pretty quickly. Uh, parts of the uh, Siskiyou uh, summit could get up to one to two inches of snow. We'd have some gusty wind out there already up to around 20 to 25 miles per hour. We've already seen some gusts over 30 miles per hour, and that's going to continue for today. We have that wind advisory in our eastern county could still see some gusts here today up to around 40 to 45 miles per hour. So we're kind of clearing after this main line moves through, but still some rain and snow showers for today. Slight chance of that into Tuesday. Even Wednesday doesn't look to be all that great until we get into late Wednesday and then rain chance for snow returns Thursday, Friday, even Saturday with highs into the 40s, morning lows into the 30s. The uh, Climate Falls area highs will be in the 30s and 40s, morning lows in the teens and 20s. Snow going to be more likely with stronger wind speeds, gusts over 50 miles per hour heading into the end of this week, as well as in Northern California who will get a break in precipitation tomorrow. Chances of that rain and snow returning later this week. Coastline will continue that chance of showers tomorrow. Heavier rain chance even for storms Thursday with much stronger winds.